My name is Paul Frainer, uh, composer and uh, working as a freelance composer for quite a few years and just recently, well actually not that recently anymore, in 2006 started working over at uh, the University of Western Ontario where I teach composition and direct a new music ensemble. Um, and uh, I've done several uh, collaborations with Soundstreams and this is my fourth collaboration with them and each project is different and each project is uh, a great experience. Corpus is a piece for a double chamber choir and percussion quartet. And um, it's uh, based on several texts. And my original idea was going to be to, uh, to, to blend some texts from mystical medieval poets from the Mediterranean area. And, um, but gradually this process, uh, through this the process of uh, looking for uh, texts, uh, the idea changed a bit. I really want to bring it uh, a bit more into contemporary times. So I was looking for some contemporary text that I could set that could also resonate backwards in time, looking uh, for um, well, well, a sort of text that could, could link up with some of these mystical texts that go as far back as the uh, ninth century and then earlier, earlier even to, uh, to uh, the earliest text would be Ecclesiastes. Part of the process uh, was to uh, come to terms with the fact that there was a percussion quartet uh, in, involved in the, uh, in the project and, um, and how to, uh, to reconcile this percussion quartet with the double chamber choir and uh, what sort of uh, sonorities would I be looking for. And uh, early on I decided that I was not going to be using mallet instruments and I was going to be focusing more on skins and metals. And, um, and then trying to uh, adapt the writing for the percussion ensemble to the text that I was using. And uh, so a certain amount of uh, research went into just exploring percussion instruments. I met with uh, Daniel Morphy uh, from Torque, and uh, we had a good three hour session or so just uh, in their studio, uh, hitting the drums with all sorts of different mallets and trying to. Uh, really capture the sounds that I was uh, interested in using. And uh, there was an instrument that uh, is a relatively new instrument that uh, I was interested in using. It's uh, called the waterphone, and uh, it's a metal instrument. Uh, it's got these tangs on it. You pour water into it, and it has a strange resonance. And, um, and I, I found that that instrument had such a variety of sounds. It almost sounds like an electroacoustic instrument. And, um, that it would really fit the text that I was uh, looking forward to closing the, the piece with, uh, which is a, a, a single phrase from uh, the, the first chapter of Ecclesiastes, in which uh, uh, talks about how all the rivers flow into the sea, but the sea is never full. It's just a great body that can just, keep, uh, can just accept whatever is put into it. There's always room for more. And uh, so the sound of this uh, water phone uh, captured that for me. Inspiration, uh, th that's a bit of the, the magical question for a composer, what, uh, what inspires you? What one hopes that uh, one's work is inspired uh, and, uh, and you, you try to capture something, something that's uh, a bit mysterious and uh, I think uh, the uniqueness of every, uh, um, of every project uh, forces a composer to, to work in a certain way and confront the materials that uh, he's interested in using and uh, eventually, um, the materials themselves become uh, inspirational. Um, so, sometimes it takes a long time before you can actually get started on something. Uh, I mean, a composer can sit down at the piano and, and play and improvise and, uh, and get something out of that. Uh, but really to, to decide uh, to come up with some idea that's going to, uh, to carry you through for the next several months, um, it's, uh, it takes time. And, uh, and when you finally find that idea, that idea itself can be uh, inspirational. And uh, just for example, like texts for, for this piece, uh, I s started looking for texts in February and only found, only, I only finalized the text in the summer. I must have spent like four or five months reading text, just trying to find something that was interested in setting. And but once I found it, I knew, okay, this is what I want to do. And, uh, and then found, finding musical material that goes with uh, those texts and uh, eventually the, it all starts building upon itself. 
the, the experience of, uh, of just knowing that uh, the Stuttgart Chamber Choir is going to be playing my piece and that the Torque Percussion Quartet will be playing my piece and just the quality of these performers uh, is liberating compositionally. You, you know that uh, you don't have to hold anything back. You can, you can experiment. You've got the freedom to, to, to try different things and to be daring and, uh, and to push the envelope. Um, so uh, it's, it's a great experience uh, as, for me as a composer to have these, uh, these players and uh, through this rehearsal process, uh, they've been working so hard and, uh, and the, each from, from one rehearsal to the next, it, it, just the way the piece blossoms and grows and uh, as, as, it, as it becomes more and more refined is, uh, is exciting, it's exhilarating. And uh, the fact that they're going to be doing it on tour is, uh, it's a, it's a great honor that uh, they'll be able to play it three times in Canada and then to bring it over to Germany and do it in Mannheim and uh, just uh, it's a uh, it's great exposure for for me as a composer and uh, and also brings my music to different audiences. Um, in, in some ways, new music can become a bit uh, ghettoized. Uh, that uh, certain new music ensembles uh, they might have. Uh, well, the same audience in various cities that, that go out uh, to these concerts. But when an, an ensemble like the Stuttgart Choir uh, pr is performing your, your music, um, it attracts different people, and people who uh, are not necessarily uh, into new music, and they might actually find uh, that, uh, oh, wow, that, 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 that was really interesting. You know, they might be coming to hear the Bach, and when they, they hear the Bach, they also hear the Freiner in the same, uh, the same concert. And uh, so it's uh, just the possibility of reaching many people that otherwise might not hear my music. It's, it's a great experience.